Welcome to Beaumont's Home Kitchen. Today I'm making a blueberry strawberry peanut butter fluff pie. Kind of a version of blueberry strawberry jam, peanut butter, and fluff. That's what we're doing today. I had an idea. I saw a, a real cool short. Peanut butter, strawberry, fluff, something really fast. It got me thinking about doing something along those lines. I had an extra pie shell to use. Blueberry and strawberry, peanut butter, fluff, pie. It took a bit of thinking and planning, but we're gonna bake the, sh the pie shell so it's done. Soften up, so we're just gonna poke a few holes in the bottom. Bake it at 14 to 17 minutes. Let's start with our marshmallow fluff. Three quarter cup of corn syrup, dump that in there. Medium fire, third of a cup of water, dump that in there. Three quarters of a cup of white sugar, dump that in there. Bring this to, it's kind of the same as the meringue, so you're gonna take this and it's gonna come to 240, and then we're gonna do it in the, the mixer. And you need a meat slash candy thermometer, little thermometer. Don't necessarily need a candy thermometer, a digital one will work. They say you don't want to stir it too much, or it'll do something else. The lemon into our bowl, clean out that bowl. Got our whisk. Bowl is clean, because you don't want any oil in there. Make sure there's no fat or oil on, the, on Mr. Whisk. And you want to make sure your eggs are at room temperature. Egg whites. All right. Three large eggs, whites. Make sure you don't get any yolk into the, uh, with the egg whites. If you do break one, you probably have to start over. Dump our three egg whites into the mixer. Half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, just to stabilize the eggs. Into the bowl. Fluff our eggs up. And if you haven't checked out my meringue video, click up top or follow along with this one. Same idea. And slowly mix our, our eggs till they become frothy. Frothy. I shell into the oven. Oh yeah, that's fine. 240. We're good. Take our hot sugar. And then slowly, slowly pour our sugar mixture in. You want to slowly pour in or you have hot sugar everywhere. And that's not good. Starting to get all frothy. So you pretty much want to whip it till it becomes room temperature. So it's, it's for a while. So. Hi, crust is done. It takes a little while. Mmm, that's looking good. All right. Oh, what we can do? A little bit of vanilla. Mix her up. Mix all the vanilla in. You can do it with this. Pop in some strawberries. Right. Into the pot. So we're gonna cook these berries a bit. So we're gonna put shulk off. Or serve a cup of lemon juice. About a half a lemon juice. Right. Lemonade. Sparkling lemonade. Just a little bit of that. Something special for dessert. Peach Crown Royal. Oh yeah, the good stuff. Alright, here we go. Gotta get the berries drunk. Okay, turn some heat on. Turn the fire on. Crown Royal. Put these berries down a bit. Cornstarch. Put this into our fluff. Now that, kick it up a little even better. All right, more crown roll over here, more crown roll over there. Oh, look, more crown roll here. Oh, normally, while I cook, beverage of choice, beer. Wine is good too. Someone, someone, I don't know who, made a mistake, but, I think it was the best mistake ever because now I'm making peanut butter and jelly a pie. I've never heard of that, but let's give it a go. Got some gelatin with the pack of gelatin. Quarter cup of water. Quarter cup of meat. Yeah, I made the dumbest mistake ever, but it's all good because I'm doing something better now. Take off some sediments for this, this. Okay, so I took corn starch and just added to the berries and guess what happened? You get lumps. I tell you, that, that's an amateur mistake. <laughs> But I'm really, I'm so glad I made that mistake because, you know, I have a strainer, strain it up, then add the gelatin, cook that for a minute, cool that down, add it to a pie, then we have, put the fluff on the, oh sorry, we'll put the peanut butter in the bottom, put the fluff in the pie, boom, done. Take your gelatin, gelatin in. For about a minute, so we got uh, what, 20 seconds left. All right. Oh, there. Yeah, I think we're good. This, 
good. You know, I'm getting, getting this back to a boil, putting a little more gelatin into mixture, just to make sure it sets the way I want it to set. Take this into the bowl. I'm gonna cool this off, but not too much, because I still want to get into the pie shell. Footage, right? <laughs> Mr. Peanut Butter. Oh, interesting. So I got crunchy peanut butter, so that'll be interesting. Peanut butter and jelly fluff pie. Mm -hmm. Not gonna add anything to the peanut butter because you have all the, the pie shell sweetness on top. It's like a crust, so perfect. The saltiness, and then the crust itself, then all the sweetness on top with lemon. Microwave uh, 30 second bursts, see how it goes. Because after my peanut butter is much in oil, right? So the oil will go. But you don't want to overdo it. Oh yeah, look at this. Perfect. Pastry brush. All right, these are peanut butter. Dump it all in there. Okay, let's <laughs> dump it all in. Okay. And we're gonna take a pastry brush and brush it all around. Just a way for it to get on the uh, the crust. That goes in the fridge. So pretty much everything's ready for the pie, which is cooling everything down. Combine everything when we come back. Then we're gonna dig into some strawberry, blueberry, jelly, peanut butter pie. Fluff pie. Awesome, really cool. And you torch it. There's our peanut butter and jelly pie. I swear this is the coolest dessert I ever made. Dollop of this stuff on there. I think the best mistake I made was the screwing up the cornstarch. It's it's a real it's a real jelly sandwich now. Mm -hmm. Torch this baby up. Want it to look like a burnt marshmallow? Kind of idea. Such a cool dessert. <laughs> nice color on there. Boom boom boom. Some lemon zest on there. That's an important part. Lemon will just bring it all together, so. I give her the pie a try. I'm so curious to see how it turned out. Peanut butter and jelly um, sandwich. A peanut butter and jelly fluff pie. Mm. That's exactly what it tastes like. It's crazy. Crunchy peanut butter. Thanks for watching. Um, pretty awesome pie. Best pie I've probably ever made. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, share. Love you. See you next time.